chick, the new girl who plays my mother, Queen Amadillo, or whatever her name is. <laughs> she wears a new hairstyle and outfit practically every time she walks through a door. I mean, I bet she even got to wear a bra, even though you told me I couldn't because there was no underwear in space. <laughs> Fisher talking to George Lucas there. <laughs> Carrie Fisher died yesterday at the age of 60 after suffering a heart attack on a flight over the weekend. Her parents, Debbie Reynolds and Eddie Fisher, were Hollywood royalty in their own right. But Fisher made a name for herself at a very young age, first appearing on stage at 12, and then later, of course, as Princess Leia in the Star Wars trilogy at the age of 19. In recent months, she made headlines not just for reprising her role in the reboot The Force Awakens, but for a tell-all about what went on behind the scenes decades ago. In the book, you reveal that during your, when you were shooting Star Wars, you and Harrison Ford had an affair. That's no. I'm just as shocked as you are. I why, why, why now? Why tell us now? Well, um, I would probably get early onset Alzheimer's and forget, and uh -huh. then you'd never know. Carrie had another quote. She said, it was Han and Leia during the week and Carrie and Harrison during the weekend. <laughs> she was in other classic films as well, including Nora Ephron's When Harry Met Sally. I was upset that Joe was getting married. And one thing led to another. And before I knew it, we were kissing. To make and a long then story short, we, we did, did it. it. They did it. That's great, Sally. We've been praying for it. We should have done it in the first place. For months, we've been saying you should do it. You guys belong together. It's like killing two birds with one stone. It's like two wrongs make a right. How, How was, was it? it? Who's that talking? Who? Is that Jess on the phone? It's Jane Fonda on the VCR. It's Brian Gumbel. You do you want, want to come, come over for breakfast? breakfast? No, I'm not up to it. No, I feel too awful. Good. Good. Tell me I'll never have to be out there again. You will never have to be out there again. She was great in that movie. Fisher inspired multiple generations of women, including Tina Fey, who said, Princess Leia occupies about 60% of my brain at any given time. Here is Fisher playing the role of a pioneering feminist writer on Tina Fey's 30 Rock. You know, I miss live TV. It's, it's like sex, you know? It's almost better when everything goes horribly wrong. <laughs> Well, you know, we do hire guest writers every now and then. I mean, I don't know if that's something you would ever be interested in. That'd be great. God, I haven't been in that building in so long. Does everyone still do Blow in Joe Garagiola's office? Which one is Blow? Again, is that cocaine? <laughs> she was a compelling writer as well, publishing a number of books, many of them autobiographical. She spoke openly about her drug use, recalling using marijuana at 13, acid at 21, and the story is that John Belushi even warned her to stop doing cocaine before he died. She was diagnosed as bipolar and wrote about being treated with electroshock therapy and medication, which she described in the memoir, Shockaholic. On Facebook, her mother, Debbie Reynolds, wrote, thank you to everyone who has embraced the gifts and talents of my beloved and amazing daughter. I am grateful for your thoughts and prayers that are now guiding her to her next stop. Um, you know, Chris, there's another quote from her about the movie that launched her. Star Wars it says, when I got the part of a princess in this goofy little science fiction film, I thought, <laughs> it'll be fun to do. I'm only 19. I'll go hang out with a bunch of robots for a few months and then return to my life and try to figure out what I want to do when I grow up. Of course, that wasn't the case. She dropped out of college and became the huge star that she is today. And of course, Princess Leia will always define her, but it's the print for me, a woman of the age in her. Broad man, yeah. she dominated that screen. I think for generations of young women, that character speaks to, to being tough. But after that, the, the message she sent, which is don't put me in a box. Mm -hmm. And as much as you could, having been part of probably the greatest franchise in movie history, mm -hmm. she broke out of that box with an acerbic wit, with her great writing. And I think with the last Star Wars film, The Force Awakens, you know, her saying, you know what, this is what 60 looks like. And not having any patience for fat shaming or age shaming. I mean, through the course of her career from the age of 19 to her death at age 60, I think she set an example for women. She's one of the only people, she, you know, she let her hair go gray in public. I mean, there are most women who are her age 
would never do that. And she talked about yeah. the experience of being told you have to lose weight to come back to the Force Awakens. She was extremely honest about that, tweeting about it. And look, I mean, even even for me, you know, obviously these movies came out before. I, you know, I was around, but what other princesses were there? Cinderella, Snow White. Who wants to? I never wanted to be that, but you know, you could want to be Princess Leia. It's just I, I don't. I don't think I can say the word I want to say on TV. But <laughs> badass? Is that what you're badass. looking for? Badass. Oh, I'll say it. You can say yeah. badass. All right, there she you go. She was so damn funny too. I had a chance to yeah. meet her a couple of times over at the Today Show. Totally unfiltered, always funny, and in later years insisted on being interviewed along with her dog. So yes. you have to Carrie put out a chair French for Carrie bulldog. and a chair for the dog, and they'd sit there and do the interview. Even together. her comment, almost a throwaway, about her parents, you know, when she was born, her mother was under anesthesia and her father fainted uh, during childbirth, and she said, and that's how I was raised. I was born alone. <laughs> yeah, her, her commentary on celebrity and pop culture in yeah. this particular era, priceless. She's one of a kind.